Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Leslie. Thank you for so much for joining me today. Today I am sharing another album share with you and this is an album I made from scratch. You can see it is quite <laughs> quite a thick album. Um, it's a mini album but it is quite thick. Um, the spine is quite thick and um, I put a little uh, bit here so that I could put a paper in here to um, what are these little things called some little some hardware so that I could label the album nicely and um, yeah most of this album I created with the flourish collection from um, Maggie Holmes that was released in I think in 2019 yes I think flourish was released released in 2019 anyways I also used some uh, die cuts with the view uh, papers as some background papers for instance this is a die cuts with the view paper this um, uh, this wood grain paper this um, life sticker is from uh, a Kaiser Craft sticker sheet um, that I bought and um, I just stuck it on the front just as a title for this now the whole what i wanted to do with this is to document all the selfies my husband and i took well not all of them but some of the selfies we took of us like or of anybody that took photos of just me and him um i think it's very important to focus on a marriage and to focus on you and your husband or you and your wife and um um, I really enjoyed making this little album for us and this is sort of a journey of our first 10 years together or I think I added 2019 so this was probably our first 11 years together that's why it's such a thick <laughs> album so I just uh, used this little vellum piece love makes everything grow with some um, of the um, another little vellum piece with some of the ephemera pieces this little frame on the side here is from uh, Heidi Swap. It's one of her little, I don't know, it was, I, I bought it just because I like the coloring of it. So for this first page, I made a pocket and on this uh, little insert, you can see that I made it a tag and I fussy cut some of the, that there's a black and white piece of paper in this collection that I fussy cut the flowers out of it. I added some uh, grey twine to the side and then a little uh, love this memory uh, little card from one of the um, ephemera packs. This picture perfect um, little oh there you can please focus a chipboard sheet is from Freckled Fawn it's from one of their little chipboard things and this photo is the first photo of Dieter and I many moons ago it was on his birthday I think he turned 30 36 that year so that was his first birthday we spent together and this is I I'm just gonna put this in here so for the second page I created a little a flip and this is a Heidi Swap, um, I think I have it here, yes, this is a Heidi Swap little stamp and I added it to a tag, added some enamel dots with some of the puffy stickers and some of the ephemera and I created a little page. I also used the acetate piece from this collection just to add something there. Now I am going to put something personal <laughs> in this which I didn't want to quite share with everybody. This is just of me and Dita and um, our journey together. For the next page um, this is again lots of um, oops, lots of layering and um, uh, very busy as well. <laughs> Some puffy, some of this word love is a puffy sticker with some with a sticker at the back here from the sticker sheet. It says it's a little camera. This is a uh, vellum piece with a little tag that I made with my little tag, like my little punching board, with a black and white uh, flower from the sticker sheet. 
and I'm not sure this was with uh, for my graduation um, when I got my degree but I'm not sure what's the date so I know it was in March 2007 I, I think it was some, somewhere like the late somewhere in March so I just have to figure out that date but I did add some little gold hearts from the sticker sheet as well and this little word favorite at the top there that is also from freckled form the little chipboard sheet for the next page oh i can't get this all in here <laughs> for the next page i created a little pocket and um, this is the day we signed our our marriage license <laughs> so we did it a couple of days before our big wedding and this is just of us sitting underneath the tree my brother-in-law took the photo and this we actually went to a botanical gardens in Johannesburg so this was absolutely perfect um this little card says botanicals and here is all the little botanical cards that goes with that's why this collection is so perfect to document us I used this um I'm not sure I think I'm not sure where this little heart paper clip comes from. I'm not sure if it is from a specific collection or not, but I did use it on this. Let me just put it in like that. For the next page I created, um, there's actually two pockets in this next page, a little pocket on top of the page. And this is a photo from our wedding. Um, most of the photos in this album are black and white just to keep it simple because it would be because this collection is so colorful it would be a bit hectic if everything was in color so again i used a little tag um punched the dates on there with a little heart from the sticker sheet and this is a little ephemera piece that i popped up on some foam squares i don't know if you can see that on the photo i put a, a puffy title that says love with some hearts on the top there and you can just slip this right into that little pocket on top of the page i created this page with a pocket inside as well and here you can see the little pocket my lighting is going insane sorry come lighting there you go this is from our wedding as well and um, i just added a little tag at the bottom there and another little tag over that with some of the flowers from the ephemera pack now i have to say i must have bought at least four ephemera packs and i i think this is the biggest collection i have in my stash still currently i have bought again and again and again because i keep on running out of of, of the ephemera and all of that so this is not just from one copy of the collection. This is multiple, <laughs> um, multiple copies of the collection that I bought. So this is from the uh, um, Happy Day. I just um, uh, added here from the it's these little puffy, golden puffy words, and this slips right into here. Oh, at the back. So if you turn right at the back this actually this is the next photo in line but let me just put this back here inside this this photo was taken when i was seven months pregnant with etienne and i can see that this little bit has not done so well let me just give it a glue And this is the thing of going through your your books every once in a while you can see where it's <laughs> where it's needing some TLC anyway this photo was taken um, I was seven months pregnant with Etienne um, yeah and uh, I added some little some some of the tags from the tag um, tags uh, ephemera um, pack with a little vellum tag and this is a stalk as well how gorgeous is that and this little says hello i think this was from the scrapbook.com 
exclusive ephemera pack from this collection. This was done in August. I just I think it was like the 27th of August or something like that. I'm not sure what day of August this was supposed to be, but this was in August of 2007. The next photo is the one of us with Etienne. This was like literally minutes after he was born. Oh, there you go. There's the minutes after he was born. And uh, the little deer is so sweet because it's a little baby fawn, I think. And um, this little heart is a heart hug from Bella Boulevard. And it says, you're the best. And number 37 is quite significant because Dita was 37 when Etienne was born. And um, here's some of the fussy cut pieces that I fussy cut from one of the pattern paper sheets. And just did a load of layering behind this and added little hearts. Some puffy hearts from my stash. On the next page, I created a little flip page. This was when, um, oh, this is the next page. This was when Andre was born and um, put loads of butterflies with the flowers around it. This little heart hug, the black heart hug says congrats and then this vellum word says lovely. And uh, here we here was uh, the, the day we had Andre's baptism and Etienne also turned two years old that day. So this little word says sweet days and this is one of those little chipboard pieces from um, Freckled Fawn. I also added some enamel dots. I think these are from, I can't remember where these enamel dots are from. I take all my enamel dots out of the packaging and put them all together in one little um, container on my desk. So this also from Frequent Four and it says you're my sunshine. On the next page is this is this was for my birthday when I turned 30 years old and this says happy birthday. I decided to make this uh, page gold, yellow and black and white. This puffy gold word says sweet and this is just the date 11th of August 2013 with some hearts a little fussy cut camera from one of the stick um, from one of the pattern papers I don't know if you remember there was a big black and white pattern paper with loads of these little cameras on them so I've got them scattered around my my album and that is it for oh got some more ephemera here with a little chipboard piece from the chipboard sheet this was Christmas 2013, um, also um, tried to stick to the same color scheme as this page over here. Now I had to add, this is a smaller page and I had to add this in later because <laughs> I forgot to add this photo in. So I just made a little extra page here and I added this in. On the back of this page I didn't have a photo to go with it so I just created this little floral cluster with um, this little frame comes from Willow Lane it's also Maggie Holmes but it's a later collection Willow Lane but it goes perfectly with all of this did some puffy hearts some enamel dots and this is also from Willow Lane it says you light up my world for the next page I created another little pocket and on this pockets it says all things grow with love with a little fussy cut butterfly from the from one of the pattern papers now these photos were taken with my instax camera i just got the camera for my birthday that year and i think this is 2014 and i went <laughs> insane and i took loads of photos so this is just some fun photos that i took of us um the flowers that I use to decorate this paper is from Willow Lane and this is just some fussy cut flowers from one of the um, from one of the pattern papers and you can see that I've 
combined the Willow Lane and the Flourish collections very nicely. And this is the nice thing of Maggie Holmes is that all of her collections go together so well. So on the next page, obviously the back side of this pocket, and this is another one of my Instax <laughs> photos that, uh, that I took of me and Dita. And this is just basically just of us having a good time. You can see how I decorated all of that. And here's another one of those little cameras that I cut out from the uh, from a pattern paper sheet. This butterfly is from the sticker sheet. You can see it's got some gold foiling on it. These little, um, that is from the sticker sheet, the uh, flourish sticker sheet. Best kind of friends. Now these were like little sticker sheets from um, the Willow Lane collection. There was a black one and then this creamy one. And Thankful For You is from the, um, this little chipboard sheet is from the oh, Flourish chipboard sheet, yes. And on this side of the pocket I added another little chipboard piece that says love you with these little fussy cut houses that I stuck at the bottom. I also um, added some foam squares behind them to give them some more dimension. Now this is going right smack bang in the middle of the book. This is just a piece of that acetate from the Flourish collection. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with it so I just stuck it in here for some extra interest. Uh, this is a photo of Emma on Etienne's birthday in 2014 and this is just me, Dieter and Emma sitting together and um, added some chipboard over here with the date, some of the those little leaves, I don't know if you remember these fabric leaves from the Flourish collection and uh, some more of the puffy little flourishes and yeah for the next page I decided to stick to a majority yellow color scheme I added a little chipboard piece over here um, and uh, another little chipboard piece and this is just of me and Dita on the beach um, I think this was in 2015 with some hearts, obviously with some hearts. For the next page, I created a pocket that flips up or a little flap that flips up just for some extra interest. This is from the Willow Lane collection, You Are My Sunshine. They had a bunch of these little banner sayings and I fussy cut this little dragonfly out from the Flourish collection. Same with this butterfly. And then this frame comes from um, a Heidi Swap Project Life uh, frame packet that I bought somewhere. I stuck the photo behind it sort of at an angle because the photo was a bit small for the frame. Added some vellum, this little vellum um, piece at the back here with a little uh, enamel dots and a tag behind it. For the next page I also created a big pocket page and this is just of me and Dita. I decided to keep this page simple, uh, mostly black and white with some accents of green. Now these photos were taken uh, for my birthday in 2016 and uh, we went to a very nice hotel in South Africa and um, we had a very nice time and this is a puffy sticker of a little house and some more of the um, ephemera pieces. This little tag says love ya. This little tag says beauty blooms in the garden as well as the heart. Thanking my lucky stars now, so very happy. So this was just us at the hotel. For the next page, I created a little pocket um, and this slides out here. For this page, 
uh, we went to the um, green planet in Dubai. Now this is sort of a, they created a little rainforest exhibit. Um, it's quite big. It's, it's like I think a four or six story uh, building that they have this artificial tree in the middle and then the different um, layers of the rainforest with all the little animals and everything in it. So it's very educational and Dita and I took a date there a couple of years ago and this was just us on the date. And obviously I put the birds, the little vellum bird from the Flourish collection, some butterflies because there's lots of birds in there, lots of butterflies. At the back of the page I stuck a yellow flower, added some tag, well added some tags, yes, at the top here and at the bottom here, added a puffy sticker and this little cut apart that says I love you. For the next page, I created another little flip page. This is a photo taken just before Dita did the iFly experience. It's that vortex tunnel thing where they blow the air from the bottle and bottom and you sort of float up to the top. So Dita was going to do that. This little hard tug says, oh baby. I fussy cut this um, dragonfly out of the Flourish collection and these little uh, flowers I think are from the Willow collection these little white flowers and um, I stuck them all on this as well this was Christmas in 2016 For this I created another little flip pocket this was just when Lucy was born a little selfie we took with Lucy and another little fawn and this flower comes from the Willow Lane collection. And here is our anniversary just before Lucy was born. This was in 2017. I added a lot of fussy cut flowers. All of these flowers are fussy cut. This is a sticker from the sticker sheet from Willow Lane. This is also fussy, not from Willow Lane, sorry, from Flourish. This is fussy cut from Flourish. That little sticker is from Willow Lane. And, um, this little golden puffy stickers from Flourish as well. For this page I created a pocket and this was taken when Lucy was two weeks old. We had a family shoot and this is just a photo of me and Dita. And this little heart hug says just because from Bella Boulevard. There's a lot of interactive bits in this album. Um, I think I had so much fun with this because I had so much to work with and um, I'm obviously a stickler for flowers <laughs> and fussy cut flowers, you all know that. So this is another little ephemera piece that I stuck on here. As you can see right at the beginning of the album, um, I had one of these as well. So you can see I've had to go through another ephemera pack um, halfway through the album and um, added some more of the ephemera, some more of the vellum and I created a pocket on top of this page and this is just of me and Dita having a little snapchat photo, me with a bunny face. And inside this page I made a pocket and here is us. Now this is I think the only photo that is not black and white. I wanted to keep it in color so that you could see the red of the hearts on the page, on the on the wall behind us. And again I layered a lot of the uh, um, ephemera from, uh, from the Flourish collection, added one of the fussy cut flowers from Willow Lane added some dragonflies and butterflies from Fl uh, Flourish and a little ephemera piece from Flourish as well. So this is a just obviously another photo of me and Dita and I decided to um, do some layering here with the lots of layering actually. First is a little cut apart from one of, oh no, this is an ephemera piece with a cut apart um, that I fussy cut from one of the floral sheets. 
This is a little tag from the Tags Ephemera pack with um, the golden uh, little uh, sticker from the puffy sticker sheet and then this is a little vellum piece and obviously I added the flowers, oh, the leaves, the golden fabric leaves behind that. So there's a lot of layering in this one as well. This is some photos that my cousin took of us and I've got a whole album that from this photo shoot that I still have to show you guys. I haven't quite finished it yet. I think I used the... I can't remember which collection I used for that album. But anyway, I think it was a Jane Hadfield collection that I used for that, for that event that I scrapped. But again, lots of layering, lots of the flowers. I wanted to add a lot of color in here because of this blue. And this is from the Willow Lane collection. It's one of the frames. This is another one of the photos from the, um, from the day that my cousin took a little uh, bird that I fussy cut out. And this is a little ephemera piece. I think this is also um, from the exclusive scrapbook.com exclusive uh, ephemera pack and I just put the date on the bottom line over there. Added some layering with the puffy uh, little leaves and the fabric leaf and some of the words from the collection as well. And that is it. At the back I've got some another little pocket here and I thought I would add some of our little notes that we've written to each other over the years or some of the little letters and things. But yes, I'll put that in at a later stage. Now, this is the big book that is done. It took me months to complete. I'm really glad it's done. Um, it's very practical as well, especially with the dark, uh, with the black spine. You don't see the dirt on it as much. And um, oh, if you would like to see how I created this, um, how I created this binding for this book, I'll leave a link down below. And then the dimensions might differ a little bit, but the principle stays the same. And that is it for this video. I'm so glad you guys joined me again today. And I will see you in the next video. Please don't forget to give this uh, video a like if you liked what you see. And if you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you a part of our community. And um, I would love to read your comments as well. Thank you very much for joining me today. Bye!